We're here for another Dave Day with Dave Seaman, Standard Speaker Sports Editor. I'm Ken Carr, the SSP TV Sports Director. Dave, those two little subtle differences in the title always screw me up a little bit in the beginning here. But OK, we're on a, we're on a smooth course here to get into some local basketball. Dave, you were at the Hazleton Area Girls Basketball Game for the Wyoming Valley Conference Championship last week as they take on Lake Lehman, a team they beat earlier in the season. But there's some drama down the stretch. Lady Cougars had to come back in this one, but ultimately they come up a little short against Lake Lehman and Coach Gavio even said that this was a heartbreaker. Uh, the, the way it, it, it happened, I mean, the, the Lady Cougars really had a hard, uh, difficult first half, uh, sloppy with the basketball, the shots weren't falling, and when their shots aren't falling, they aren't able to get into their press, which is, you know, they're known for their press, you know, disrupt teams, and they're able to score points in bunches off the press. Uh, but in that game, the shots weren't falling, like I said, in the first half. In the second half, they started to find a little bit of mojo, uh, and then uh, Olivia Wolk really stepped up, uh, delivered three big three-pointers, Mercer Tribal piece made another three-pointer and suddenly they find themselves with a four-point lead as we hit the midway point of the fourth quarter and uh, all is looking good and you, you know you expect a Lake Lehman a, a young team that you know has experience of losing the Hazleton area that may, maybe that they would you know sense the moment a little bit and uh, you know tense up a little bit uh, and uh, unfortunately for the Lady Cougars they were the team that tensed up missed some foul shots down the stretch and it gave Lake Lehman a chance to win. We did have a local team win a conference championship last week and that was the North Schuylkill girls Dave and here Schuylkill League Division one was very interesting this year. Jim Thorpe kind of was running through it, you know, as we're getting down to the end of the regular season. All of a sudden, North Schuylkill knocks off Jim Thorpe, and then Tamaqua beats North Schuylkill. Um, you have North Schuylkill playing Jim Thorpe for the overall conference championship down at Martz Hall at the Mecca there. And North Schuylkill, not one senior on the roster, Dave. They've had some players step up. Um, Cameron Magel, she had a huge year as a freshman. Caitlin Himes is a sophomore, had a ton of success. And junior Maya Wetzel, she also did very well for the Lady Spartans this season. And in that title game, Savannah. Anna Gowerlick had a, some big points with under a minute to go, and now North Schuylkill, Schuylkill League champions once again as they get ready for the district playoffs as well as they'll be. And any other notes from North Schuylkill that impressed you this season, Dave, just how they've been able to develop with such a young roster there? North Schuylkill has as much tradition as anybody. Yeah. We've got girls basketball in the Schuylkill League, and, uh, you know, you put on that uh, Lady Spartan uniform, uh, you know, you expect to win. You're not you're not going there just to show up, and uh, they get into a game against Jim Thorpe, another close game, and uh, they fell behind, but uh, they didn't flinch. Uh, to their credit and uh, like you said you mentioned the players you know young players stepping up at crucial times and uh, it's only going to help them moving forward we're going to be reading a lot about this North Schuylkill team in the, in, the, in the weeks and years to come. It's been interesting Dave because you had a young team like Lake Lehman beating a Hazleton area young team like North Schuylkill they take down a Jim Thorpe another young team heading into the district um, playoffs obviously they've been battle tested this year but the Hazleton area boys Dave that we talked all year how they, they had these two senior leaders how would some of the younger guys stepped up and they've seen some kind of the ups and downs just like the Lady Cougars lost some close games, um, lost, you know, um, a playoff for the Division One championship. They don't make the conference um, playoffs. Now they get a chance as the top seed in the District's 2-4-6A sub-regional playoffs. One more shot for the boys team at Hazleton area. Yeah, it was kind of unusual when you think that, you know, Wilkes-Barre beat Hazleton area twice during the regular season, yet Hazleton area gets the top seed yeah. and uh, uh, won benefit should we for lack of a better word is you, you don't have to play Williamsport in the first round I mean you might look at Williamsport's 8 and 14 record going to the playoffs and say well that's that's what their record is but Williamsport beat Hazleton area during the season uh, you know a, another battle tested team that they play everybody all the tough teams you know from this part of the state and beyond and uh, you know they have veteran coach and Alan Taylor uh, like I said, they, they came here this year to Huey McGee and really put a hurt on the on the Cougars this year. So Cougars got a chance to avenge some losses. Uh, they got a chance to you know reset, refocus, and you t you take advantage of the experience that you gained. You said you lost some close games, but they also won some close games in the beginning of the season too. So you try to remember how that all worked. You mentioned the North Schuylkill girls basketball legacy. They also have a very strong wrestling program. Great coverage in the Standard Speaker recently as they got their 700th victory in program history. And one of their former coaches, Dave, coming back and wrestlers um, on that night as well so check standardspeaker.com out for that and this weekend Dave district wrestling tournaments district 2 tournament will actually be held right at the Hazleton area high school and there's some wrestlers who have a chance Dave to advance and go to that regional tournaments right in our backyard too yeah when you look at uh, you know Charles Everdell has been there before Jake Marnell has been there before uh, you know Bryce Molinaro all those guys have been experienced Seth Hunsinger too, Dante Maiatorella they've been in some tough uh, tournaments throughout the year to get themselves ready for this is what you prepare for when is all the swimming um, districts coming up and everything do you have information 
weeks that, coming yeah. up. They had a tune-up tournament this weekend mm -hmm. in Scranton at Scranton High School. Uh, Ryan Kavalk of Hazel Theory High School. Tony Goulstone, they had, you know, outstanding meets. Uh, Tino Diut had an outstanding meet. Uh, you know, Tommy Pollock. They, those kids have been really, Logan Yakubowski, another a freshman. You talk about youngsters that we really have a lot of talented young athletes in the area this year. Uh, you know, they're getting ready for their district meet too and all that will be happening next weekend. Dave, we talked about a lot today and we I know we missed some things because I know Mono Area is going into the girls basketball team going into their tournament as a number one seed. Marion's in the playoffs down there. So there's a lot to get to. We can't get to it all in five and a half minutes right here. So make sure you're reading the standard speaker and also keeping up on SSP TV news.